Hello, I'm going to teach you something very special today. It's good for lay people, for kindergarten and for PhD and even more. It's not in the patent business yet. Measuring how much water, how much fluid moves on this court. I'm going to teach you, you can have projects from the kindergarten to PhD and you can make patents. What we are going to do is a water balance and is a measuring a saturated hydraulic flow. How does it work? It works the following. We have here a plant. We are going to measure how much water is moving per time throughout the rope. Unsaturated hydraulic flow is the amount, is the K, is the amount of water volume, millimeter cubic, per area millimeter square per time second. We have here the pot designed especially for you. The cord is here and we need to know the diameter of this cord. We're going to take three millimeters so the radius is going to be 1.5 millimeters here. So we're going to assume uh, 24 millimeters per day or 480 ml per 16 day, 1 ml per hour. We have the volume 1 ml per hour, it gives you 1 centimeter cubic centimeter, 1000 cubic millimeter. So the area there is 2 times pi times the square radius. It's 2 times 3.149 times 1.5 square. The result here is 14.14 squared millimeter. The time is 1 hour 3,061 seconds. The final hydraulic conductive for this example here will be 1,000 uh, cubic millimeter by 14.14 uh, .14 square millimeter by 3,600 seconds. The final result 0 0.02 millimeter per second is the same as 1.18 millimeter per minute so easily you can constantly gauge the fluid move on Dimax and I tell you my patents is the first to do this on artificial pyroid. I'd be glad if more patents come around and you learn more about the system water soil and plant. Bye bye